Hi everyone, we met back in September for our first small groups at Cross of Christ for high school youth. We started a study on this book. It's called The Real Jesus. And next time when we meet on October 6th, we're going to talk about, does Jesus really know what it's like to be one of us? And that's what is covered in the book. That's what we'll talk about as well when we get together. One of the prophecies that's been really powerful for me about Jesus from Isaiah 53 is that he was despised and rejected, a man familiar with sorrow and with suffering. When we think about the things we go through in our life, those are some of the same things. We know what it's like to be rejected or really just to be overlooked, to be lonely and alone, to be suffering. We know loss and pain and grief and all those things. And what we learn as we see Jesus and the story of his life is he knows those things as well. And that prophecy a little later on says that he not only knew suffering, but he carried our suffering and he bears our grief and suffering as well. Which means as we go through these things, though life is hard, we know Jesus loves us because he suffered for us and now comes with us in the midst of our suffering as well. So I hope that encourages you right now if there's something you're going through in your life. And I hope this book is an encouragement to you too. You can read it in a couple ways. You can just go through and read the devotions that are there one at a time. Or you can go to the beginning at the table of contents and just look at the different ways that Jesus lived his life and the things that he did and see if there's something that connects with what you're going through in your life and just read that and be filled and fed from God's word as you learn a little bit more about Jesus. So I hope you can join us as we continue our discussion on October 6th. We'll be in the gym from 4 to 6. Same as last time, we'll have food, we'll have games, then we'll have the challenging, encouraging discussion about who Jesus is and what that means for our lives.